all right, what's this vibe coding thing and why are some of us developers sort of like frowning upon it? I'm gonna take a shot at it. Well, first we gotta define what exactly vibe coding is and shoot, I don't even know if anybody got the direct definition. I know it came from somewhere, but from as far as I can tell, it's basically loosening up on the foundational practices of coding and the process and the rigid structure that usually comes along with learning how to code and even with programming and delivering software in general, and just being more free using AI tooling to code most of the code for you and just telling it what to do when there's bugs, telling it to fix it, when there's things you want to add, telling it to fix it, and not really worrying about the typical do's and don'ts that we learn historically with programming. And I can see how there could be advantages and disadvantages to that approach and how it could be useful for some scenarios more than others. Now let's speak on the controversy. Why do some coders sort of kind of look at it in negative light, this vibe coding thing? And I can't speak for everybody, but I can speak for myself. Whenever you skip certain steps in learning something, there's gonna be a trade-off. Like you can use Wix or Weebly to build a website, but do you really learn how to build the actual website and coding it? And it's the same here, if you're using an AI tool, to just have it build your app or whatever it is for you, then you're not gonna learn the foundational things to build something from scratch yourself. Now, there are a lot of foundational things that you learn as a program that help protect you from writing bad code and bad software. They help make the software maintainable for a number of years. They help make it easy to be collaborated with on teams with other people. And that just increase the overall quality and prevent bugs from being in the code that you find either days later or years later. There's just certain foundational aspects that get skipped with vibe coding because you're using AI, because you're just kind of rushing, you're skipping some of the foundational stuff. And there's advantages to that, to moving fast, and there's disadvantages to that. I think if your goal is to get a job or to code in the best way, the full vibe coding may not match with what jobs are looking for in the day-to-day -day of an actual job as it is today. And it may not lead to the best quality of software at the end of the day, but it may lead you to getting a proof of concept software out there faster. So it's not that it has no advantages, but I can see why some devs may look at it like that. The other thing is that some of us developers have been working in the industry. We've dealt with scale. We've dealt with maintainability issues. We've seen these things before. And so it sort of scares us that, you know, there would be coding without regard for that. And we've been up late nights working on bugs. We've been up late nights refactoring bad code, bad logic. Uh, we've been having to work through tech depth. So we understand some of these issues that may not be understood by somebody that didn't learn to code the older way and this move to produce software with, with less regard for those things, for those principles and practices that protected us from those issues in the past. And also let's just face it. I think it's some of the fear is just developers sort of like myself that have been doing it for a while. We went through this gauntlet of having to learn, you know, without AI and without these AI tools and just struggling, be it being up nights in college, working on the boot camp, being in the industry for 10 years and working with scale, seeing things go down, being on call. We've had to go through this sort of gauntlet and it's just a natural human reaction that when that gauntlet is gone and it, or it can be skipped with these AI tools, it sort of gives an impression of like, we want y'all to go through the same thing that we did. And let's be real, that's what's happening with some of the older devs and some of the devs in in my range where it's like, you know, you didn't learn it the exact same way that I'm learning it, or you're not even learning it at all, the things that I learned to be a good developer, but you're able to build the same type of projects because now you're leveraging AI. And so there's feelings that come with that, like if we're just being real about it. But I think on the other end, some of us have to realize that like, even before our time, it always was harder for the devs and programmers that came before us. Like none of us today are waiting 30 minutes for our code to compile or waiting an hour. I've heard stories from older developers than me about that. And none of us are typically writing machine level code. Like everything has been abstracted to a high level at this point. And you can look at AI as just another layer of abstraction, like versus 
coding with, you know, a high level language like JavaScript or C sharp or whatever, there may be a future where some people are just coding with AI. They're like, that's their actual coding tool. And so on the other end, we kind of have to look at it as technology progresses and, and uh, software development progresses. But on the other end, you can still look at it as, are we stifling ourselves from really learning the things that we need to learn? Because I still think there's a disconnect between people that are learning and outside of an actual tech job that are just building products, maybe building startups, maybe building side products, and what's actually going on in the workforce still today with legacy systems, with systems that exist today that have scaling issues, they have logic, logical issues, the vibe coding thing may not be a one-to-one -one connection to what you actually are having to do on a development job today. So you have to kind of look at what your goals are. Are, they, are Is it to pass an interview? Is it to work in a real job? Or is your goal to just build products as fast as possible and get out there and see what the market fit is? Vibe coding may be more in that realm than it is with a traditional coding job as it exists today. So that begs the question, is the vibe coding thing, is it a negative thing? Is it stifling our growth as developers? Is it like hurting us in the end of the day? Or is this just a natural progression of technology? I don't know, it's a tough question to answer. Let me know what you think in the comments and I appreciate you watching the video.